vampire makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like it. And before we jump straight in, I've done another Halloween video on my boyfriend's channel. So if you guys want to check that out, there'll be a little video down here and also in the description box. And over there on his channel, I turned him into Tate from American Horror Story um, with the skull face and the hot outfit and stuff like that. So if you guys want to check that out, then definitely check the link and the video down here. Firstly, I'm starting off with my Naked 2 palette and I'm taking the brown shadow to sweep that into the crease as a transition shade. I'm then taking my sleek blush in shade Flush and I'm using my Zoeva crease brush to blend that into the crease and add further dimension to the eye. The reason why we're using a red toned shadow onto the eyes is actually to make the eyes look much more irritated and tired like a vampire, even though a vampire never sleeps, but that's beside the point. I'm then taking the shadow blackout from my Naked 2 palette and then I'm popping that onto the lid. I'm really dabbing this shadow on rather than sweeping it about because you want to get the most pigmentation using this technique. And I also started doing my eyes rather than the face first is because you're going to get a lot of fallout with a dramatic eye look like this. So you always want to do the eye makeup first and then do the skin last. I'm now just tight lining my lower lash line with this same shadow. Next I'm using my Schwing eyeliner by The Balm and I'm creating a cat wing with this. I'm then reaching for my Snazaroo water-based face paint in shade white and I'm just dabbing that very lightly over the highest points of my face, almost using this as a highlighter. And then I'm using my Real Techniques foundation brush to blend all of that out. To achieve those sunken in vampire cheeks, I'm using my sleek all natural palette and I'm taking the grey eyeshadow from this palette and I'm just popping that into the hollows of my cheeks using a Real Techniques contour brush. For the famous vampire red lips, I'm using a MAC lipstick in shade Diva. And then to finish off the lips, I'm just going in with a black shadow around the lips to sort of outline it and create a subtle gradient effect to the lip. And this is the final look. If you want to go a step further, you can add some fake blood to the corners of your lips to make it look like you've just sunken your teeth into someone's neck. So that is all guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is probably gonna be the last Halloween tutorial that I'm doing this year. So yeah, I hope you guys are gonna have a lovely Halloween, stay safe, and also don't forget to check out the video that I filmed over on my boyfriend's channel where I turned him into Tate. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Thank you.